We're now gonna move into the quadriceps muscle group and let's do a quick review of the origins and insertions for these. So notice here we have a beautiful rectus femoris coming down and its origination point is the AIIS as well as a little bit of the acetabulum and labrum. Then we have the vastus lateralis coming down the side of the thigh here. Its origination point is the lateral lip of the linea aspera coming all the way down here. They all share insertion points at the tibial tuberosity via the common quad tendon. And then here we have the vastus medialis, this nice teardrop muscle coming down the medial part of his thigh. And its origination point is back up top here on the medial lip of the linea aspera. Deep to this rectus femoris, you can have the vastus intermedius, which we can't really visualize. However, we know it's there, deep to this muscle, originating on the anterior surface of the femur, coming all the way down, again, inserting to the tibial tuberosity via the, uh, the quadriceps tendon. The action for these, they all do knee extension, and the rectus femoris, because it starts up in the hip joint, also does a bit of hip flexion. So the muscle tests are gonna vary a little bit for these muscles, and we'll show you exactly how to do that now. What we'll do is have him sit on the edge of the table here, and that's a good spot there. So again, we know we're gonna test knee extension for all these muscle groups, but if we wanna focus a little bit more on medial, uh, middle as well as lateral thigh, what we can do is just have slight, slight rotation and there's going to be a really good check of this vastus medial. So what I'm going to do is try and push his heel that way and notice how I've braced my elbow on the inside of my thigh so I can just lean forward. I don't have to try and control his whole leg because this is a powerful muscle group with just one arm. I can support, lean in, hold there nice and strong and right away we can see this muscle puff up. We can see it quiver and contract really nicely here and I can palpate and stabilize all at the same time. Now if we want to do the intermedius, we're just going to put his thigh in neutral and exact same thing. I know it's a deep to that rectus femoris so I can trace all along here as I slowly load in and he holds there nice and strong. And again, you're going to get contractions of all these other muscles. They work and fire as a unit. You're never going to get away from that. To do the lateralis, hold there. And again, we can see a good contraction all the way down the lateral part of his thigh. I can palpate in again and get a good sense of what that muscle's doing. Now for the rectus femoris, in a seated position, I already mentioned that it does a little bit of hip flexion. So it's easy enough here. He can just bring his thigh up and then you can just hold there nice and strong. And I can just check a little bit of hip flexion resistance right there like that. Again, you're gonna pick up a bit of psoas with that, but if we were doing a psoas muscle test, it would look a little more like that. Rectus femoris, keep it nice and neutral. Again, get your body up and over it, and just lean right down on it. Relax there. For a uh, supine variation, we'll have him lie back. And what we'll do is bring this leg up to about there. And if I'm gonna be checking his right thigh in this case, Going to go through and under, and then just cup gently. And now from here I can check the quadriceps muscle group through a huge range of motion. Whether it's deep, deep knee bend, or almost to full knee extension. What's good about this is we know that this, this again, teardrop muscle, the vastus medialis oblique, is highly active in stabilizing the patella in this full knee flex position. So we can start right there, hold there nice and strong, and again, really contract and challenge that muscle. Relax. Then again, we can go neutral and maybe up a bit, hold there. Do the uh, intermediate fibers at this knee angle. And then we can come near up to extension and check the lateralis, hold there. If you're a smaller practitioner, notice I have a little bit more of upper body strength to be out in this position and control the limb. You might have to rearrange how your body is and then actually just hold there and just lean yourself right into the shin while still stabilizing the ankle during the muscle test. Again, for rectus femoris, we're just gonna be pulling straight down this way, checking that hip flexion, hold there nice and strong. You can grab the edge of the table. This just prevents you from pulling his whole body down the table. Load in, and then load off.